friends, what up? Welcome back to another edition of my top favorites in a category. Today we're going to do finishing powders. I really wanted to do blushes, but I started to do blushes and I was like, wait a second. There are so many blushes that I use on a consistent basis. So it was either going to be one of two things. It was either going to be nothing but Hermes blushes, <laughs> right? Or it was going to be too many blushes. So I decided to do that separately. Um, I'm going to do that in like uh, another video where I break them up into sections, like different colors that I most often use. So instead, we're going to do powders today. And I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm a little bit aggy right now because someone just like really, really pissed me off. But we gonna go through we gonna get through because I didn't do my makeup and my hair for nothing so we gonna get through this all right so <sighs> my top finishing powders hmm, some of these might be a little bit surprising and then others you you probably know already so let's start from the bottom to the top shall we okay so first things first the Huda Beauty easy bake powders are used to be my go-to powders um, like a couple of years ago. I still use them occasionally, but um, one of the reasons why I kind of stopped using them was because I have two shades. I have Kunefa and I have Cinnamon Bun. Kunefa is the only yellow-based um, finishing powder that I've been able to use successfully to date. All right, this is the only one that's made me look weird or chalky or some other kind of wrong. And then I have Cinnamon Bun, which I had bought to use as a skin tone powder, but it is a bit too dark, um, so I don't use it as often as I would like to use it. Usually what I do when I use these two powders, I mix them together to create a better powder, a better shade for me, but you know, it got kind of tiring doing that, and so I just kind of stopped using them when I got better options. Um, these two will keep you matte all day though. That's one of the things that I really liked about these powders. They keep you matte and they don't look cakey or chalky or just unnatural. They just look very natural and um, they keep you matte all day. So this is one of the reasons why I had really liked these. But I have better options now so you know I've moved on. Next up in the number four and five spot are two Decorte finishing powders. Now if you guys remember I had originally bought the Decorte um, loose face powder in what was it number number eight sparkling pink I think it was called um, because you know with when you have a peach undertone um, or just a darker skin tone in general pink usually does brighten up the complexion a pink powder will brighten up the complexion very nicely so I had bought this I think it was last year sometime and I have been using this consistently. This is one of three powders that I use very consistently. Um, it really does brighten the skin. It really does last. And it gives you kind of an airbrush finish. Not really an airbrush finish so much as just like a very natural looking finish. And I'm really in love with this powder. This powder is $50. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really beautiful powder. Now, I had gone back and I've and I had purchased... The other shade that I had said that I wanted, number 30, this is the shade Terracotta. Um, it's perfect. I wanted something that was more skin tone or at least a little bit more tinted brown so that I can use it whenever. Because like I feel like the the face powder, the, the pink powder is kind of like a when I want my skin to be brightened. Like if I use something with an olive undertone, like if I use a foundation with an olive undertone and I want to brighten that olive undertone because sometimes it can make me look a little bit darker, then this, the pink powder is very specialized. But I wanted something that I could just use. But my experience with brown powders has not been good. So when I've used a brown powder or brown tinted powder, with the exception of the Cinnamon Bun one from Huda, no, not even that as well. Usually when I buy a brown powder and it's supposed to be like tan to deep, it's usually too dark. Or if I buy a brown powder, well, not tan to deep, but like usually it, it'll go light 
medium, and then deep, right? But then the deep is too deep and it looks weird on me. So that's been my experience with brown powders. I've never actually been able to find a brown powder that I'm like, oh great, this is awesome. Because I tried the Laura Mercier powder and I hate those powders. I don't know why everybody raves about them. They look terrible. I'm sorry. They are terrible. I had tried that one though and it was too dark. So when I got this, I was like really um, kind of... I don't know I was kind of excited because if you see it it's just a very light tinted brown right and so I was very excited when I got this because I figured oh finally something that'll work and it works beautifully it's just a finishing powder it works the same way that the pink one works it is beautiful like the pink one um, it lasts just like the pink one but it is brown so I can basically just use this at any time um, I kind of like using powders like this in the summertime like the skin tone or a translucently tinted brown powder in the summertime with you know concealer or even better with a tinted moisturizer so I'm definitely in love with this powder and I'm so happy that I went back and I got these now this powder is $50 I believe from the Decorte website or you can get it at Nordstrom or somewhere else but there are eight of these shades and um, I don't believe there's another one that's darker than this one. I think this one is the darkest one. And then you have other ones that are like shimmery or shiny or what the hell ever. Um, but this one and the pink one serve my purposes fine, so I don't need to get a new one. But these powders are wonderful. Okay, so this might be a little bit of a surprise to you guys because you know this powder is like my holy grail of powders. However, it's recently been kicked from its perch buy a new purchase but we'll see if that continues to be the case come summertime but I digress so in the number two spot is my trusty Givenchy Prism Lieb powder this one is in number three organza caramel this shade I believe has been discontinued if I'm not sure I think it's been discontinued because I know Givenchy came out with new powders this past win winter, fall, autumn, whatever. I know they came out with the, um, new powders this past, I think it was September, about the same time they came out with those blushes. They came out with new powders um, and I don't remember seeing this shade either on the Harrods website, the Selfridges website, nowhere. They're at Nordstrom now, I do believe. Um, I don't know if they're like newly formulated or something, but child this is full this ain't going nowhere and once again I did not see this shade in the new set that came out so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it's been canceled but also I'm absolutely not going to get a new one anytime soon simply because I have this much left what I love about this powder let me count the ways shall I so this powder is holy grail HD can't get no better because she mattifies. She lasts in the heat and humidity that is Georgia. She has four shades. She has four shades. Okay. There is, and I've had like, I've had this so long, like so long. So this powder has four shades. It has a light beigey shade right here. Then it has kind of a, well, so it has like a tan beigey shade right here. Then it has more of a deeper tan beigey shade right there. And then it has like a dark, what is that, a salmon? It has like a dark salmon shade here. And then this shade right here is peach, right? So this powder follows you through the entire year. You just kind of have to adjust how you shake and knock it out. But this bad boy, holy grail, I don't think... Listen, so I, like I've said, I've, it's recently been knocked off its perch, but I think it's kind of been knocked off its perch because newness, but this winter, summer, spring, fall, you name it, darker, lighter, this powder is everything, absolutely everything, and it costs about as much as everything too, so there's that, but this is my number two, and it's only number two because I recently got this little girl here and I am currently in love with her okay so this is the Chanel um, universal loose powder in number 12 I did do a video of it so I'll put the link to the video down there 
this is what I'm wearing right now. I like this one um, because it gives you a very natural, nice airbrush finish. <laughs> I can't really say I've tested for longevity with this powder, but so far I've used it and I have not had like any slippage. It's basically lasted all day when I've used it. And there have been some warm days, but you know, I think I'm going to wind up going back to, you know what? I'm gonna switch places. This is gonna be number two. F forget it. Yeah, so Givenchy is definitely gonna be number one. So this is number two. This is number two. Ignore everything that I said before about this being number one. This is definitely number two. I don't think that I can kick Givenchy off her perch yet because she has proven herself. She has not proven herself yet. Miss Chanel has not proven herself to be long lasting. She is beautiful. She is absolutely beautiful. She is a peachy colored um, powder. So of course it matches really well with my skin tone and my undertones and it just kind of melts into the skin. Doesn't really look like anything but beautiful skin. Um, and like I said, I have tested it. I've done wear tests on it and she's she performed she performed but i haven't tested her through the summer yet so i'm going to go ahead and put miss Givenchy back in number one because she this one hasn't proven herself yet but. yeah so we just went ahead and reversed the order of number one and number two because like i said miss Givenchy has proven herself so she's still in number one um that was i'm sorry my apologies that was i i jumped the gun i jumped the gun it's okay it's all right um, Chanel is in number two, Givenchy in number one, uh, because G Givenchy does everything that the Chanel does, but it's even more versatile because of you being able to follow you from season to season, so you can adjust the intensity of the color, you can adjust the intensity of the, the, um, the color correcting powder, so Givenchy is definitely number one. And then Chanel is number two because it's just beautiful. It's a peach powder. That's always going to be higher on my list than anything else. If the powder is a peach-based powder, it's always going to be above any other powder that there is. So Givenchy number one, Chanel number two. Um, maybe at the end of summer I'll be able to tell which one is truly, truly number one. But for right now, Givenchy. Givenchy is the one. But all right, guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me for... Um, part two of my top favorites list. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I know I kind of rushed through it and I sped through it because I'm having a little bit of anxiety right now because of what I said at the start of the video. Um, and I just kind of want to, I don't know, get out of here maybe. Anyway, we'll see. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, uh, what else? I do have reviews of most of these powders maybe um I think I do have reviews of almost all of them except for the decorte powder the new decorte powder which I actually did do a review I just never bothered to upload it um I didn't even bother to like I didn't even bother to edit the video I might still do it and then you know you can see that but yeah guys um if there are videos for any of these powders I will link them in the description box below and as usual, it's been real, it's been fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.